Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Mooncraft Media. <laughs> Freaking nudgy, jumping and acting like a nuisance. Just kidding. He's he's my best friend, so he's not a nuisance. He's like my best friend, so be okay with that. <laughs> Look at his little tail back there. Anyways, I'm gonna update you on vacant hotel. No, I'm not done with it yet. Yes, I'm almost finished. We are so close, and then. I want to start a new puzzle. I have to start a new puzzle. I hope that it's going to get me out of this little puzzle slump that I'm in because this vacant hotel puzzle has taken the life out of my puzzle spirit. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to start a new one to hopefully get me going on completing it. Finally, finally going to finish vacant hotel, hopefully very soon. Um, otherwise, this 500 piece puzzle looks like a lot of fun. So let me update you on Vacant Hotel, show you my new puzzle, and I'll probably do a cute little video of me doing um, the border of the 500 piece puzzle. So happy, I don't know when I'm going to post this, um, but wherever you are in time and space, thanks for hanging out and let's get into it. <sighs> So I would say that this is pretty decent, y'all. This is all the pieces I have left. That is not very much. And we were able to pretty much stay organized through the whole thing. The question that we have though is whether or not there's one missing because Mr. Nedgy likes to jump on the puzzle table so that he can get our attention. And yeah, sometimes he'll knock the pieces over. Y'all know this, this isn't new on this channel at least. Okay, are you ready? Are y'all ready? Dun da 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 work on it we're almost done okay let me put this down really quickly so that I don't ruin that situation I don't even know where to put this right now yay update this is the update we finished almost all the stairs and the banister right here so it's just that little bit right there that we need to finish all the chandeliers are down everything that can be distinguished in this puzzle has been put down. As you saw on that board that I was showing you, all of this empty space is like the browns and the rest of the green. Honestly, all this greenery is what is just all over the place, but I've kind of got it figured out. Like you could tell these are darker navy pieces right here. So we've definitely been able to start to sort like more of the blank spaces. And then we have a little bit over here. What's killing me right now is this bookshelf. Like why am I not able to find that bookshelf? And I think it's because the majority majority of it, actually I know that's the reason why, um, the majority of that is this greenery right here and it's pretty hard to tell what is behind it for the most part because it's just that big part right there. I'm telling you when you're looking at the pieces, the greenery is the majority of the piece and maybe like a tiny little sliver of like a dark space right there, which confuses me because then it starts to look like down here, down here, into these dark spaces, up into here. And then again, you could tell you could see that we're still trying to figure this whole little section out um, is missing right there. So Hopefully we can get that done next because I feel like once we get this image down because of the perception of it, we'll at least be able to kind of look into what we're seeing a little bit better. But yeah, we just need to finally get this little thing down so we can figure out the rest of it because then it's just the greenery after that that we need to put down and make sure that we get it done. So lots of really good progress. I'm probably going to finish this. We're for sure going to finish this by the end of the month. We agreed that hard puzzles like this, we just need to work on them little by little every day. And that's something that I haven't done in the past. I usually puzzle. The way that I usually puzzle is I'll sit down and puzzle for like two, three, four hours and then get like a good amount of a puzzle done. And then I'll do that again. So I basically will get chunks of the puzzle done and can finish in a good amount of time. But a puzzle like this where it can be just overwhelming to look at nothing, basically what it feels like is nothing, then I think a little bit every day is a better strategy. So 
yeah, that is what we've been doing. And so far, so good. I think we've got this in the bucket. When do you guys think we're gonna finish? Hopefully soon, hopefully soon. We got this, we can do this, we can do this. <laughs> This is the cute little puzzle that I picked up from Barnes & Noble this past week. I literally was having a bad day and I was like, I need to go to Barnes & Noble, pick out a puzzle or a book, and a puzzle it was. This one was only $15, considering that it's a new, brand new puzzle released this year from, I don't know who this brand is, Gallison. I thought that it was a really good, you know, little treat for myself um let me try to open no i can't open it with one hand anyways how cute is this imagery oh my god i love all the kitty cats so obviously they're the zodiac signs and cats illustrated within each zodiac sign so i'm excited for this one i like puzzles like this because there's a lot of color first of all and you can break up each little picture so it's a lot of fun to do 500 pu piece puzzles are my go-to they are usually the ones that give me the least amount of grief. So I'm definitely looking forward to knocking this one out. Which one's your favorite kitty? I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo sun, I'm a Scorpio moon, and I'm an Aries ascending sign. So these three cats are represent my, th my three, my, um, I forgot what people say. It's like their core three or something like that. I just say my ascending, my star, and my moon sign. Those are them. And I'm actually a Virgo Libra cusp because I'm born on September 22nd, which is the last day of Virgo. And then the next day goes into Libra. So I am on the cusp here. And then Scorpio and Aries. So yeah. Um, I know what that means. I wonder if you guys have any idea what that means. <laughs> My husband's a Cancer, Jeff's a Cancer. Yay! Okay, so let's do the border of this puzzle. And oh my gosh, I'm really excited. I've had this puzzle on my counter for almost a week now, so I'm excited to break into it. Let's do the border together and then I'll show it to you when I'm all done. Give you a, like a little mini review of the pieces and stuff like that and let you know what I think of Gallison. This is a sticker so I can take that sticker off, which I appreciate because when they leave the stickers on and they're permanent and you can't see the whole picture, A, you don't have a, there's a poster in here, I think. So A, if there wasn't a poster, you couldn't see the whole thing. And then I just appreciate like really good quality boxes versus what you typically see with like cheaper puzzles. Like the boxes just aren't, they're not gonna keep as long. Like I wanna be able to keep my puzzles um, for as long as I live and then hand them down. And then maybe one day they'll be at like a cool uh, collectible antique situation or maybe just in somebody's uh, backyard for a yard sale or front yard for a yard sale. Nobody usually goes into the backyard for somebody's yard sale. Um, and then they'll find it and they'll be able to touch the puzzle pieces I touched once and it's so cool okay anyways thank you for he listening to me ramble about puzzles it's been a minute since I've been talking about puzzles so I will go ahead and jump into this without further ado let us begin
puzzle border is almost complete. I did a pretty good job picking out most of all the pieces. There's probably at least, I want to say one or two in here based on first look in this pile. Can anybody see a side piece? Can anybody see a side piece? If you can, comment below because I don't see any. Damn. Okay, anywho. Yes, look at these puzzle piece quality, my friends. These are so thick. So these are definitely Ravensburger quality, but I like them even better because they don't have that softness look to them. I like the glossy look of puzzles, to be honest. Some people don't. I do. I'm a glossy puzzle jigsaw kind of person. And the white background is pretty cool too. Um, but some of the pieces are white. So like this piece, for example was white here's another one that's white so a couple of them I was like oh shoot that's not the right side <laughs> so besides that though very thick cardboard so many different piece shapes we have every single one represented we have four out we have three out we have three in one out we have every single puzzle piece represented so I love this puzzle brand. If you see Gallison puzzles, I highly, highly recommend them. That's what you're usually going to get at Barnes & Noble, to be honest, though, is pretty good quality puzzles. They don't carry, you know, the Target brand puzzles or what you would see at, like, the dollar store and stuff like that. That's why I was happy this one was only $15, because considering the quality of the actual puzzle piece... 500 pieces the illustration is like the cutest little illustration the box quality is fantastic it's almost like a game a board game box and then look how cute this is yes you get a poster but on the back of them they describe the zodiac signs as their cat personalities how freaking adorable oh my god if you screenshot this or if you're watching this and you want to screenshot it and look at it, take a look because that is so adorable. Mine says, Virgo, nothing feels quite like the presence of a Virgo cat. Soothing, understanding, and sensible. She is like a warm cup of chamomile tea after a hard day of work. The earthy Virgo is grounded in her sense of self. She is, what does that say? She is fastidious, astute, caring, and stoic. How adorable. I love it. I love it. Okay, and then the Scorpio. I want to read what my moon is. There is no worse fate for a Scorpio than a life of predictability. So true. Bold and daring, these cats are not for the faint of heart. These are the cats that people hook up spy cams for in their house to see what they're up to all day. They're brave, free-spirited, and sharp. <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, and then my Aries is Sunday, and the Aries is probably first to the food bowl in the morning, first to tell you when it's time to let be let outside, <laughs> and first to tell you when his needs aren't being met. It is rare for Aries to go so long without making it clear what he wants. He is bold, surprising, and social. How cute. I wonder why they give them, um, they assign genders to the cats, but it, it is what it is. Very cute. I love this. I love it so much that I think I'm gonna glue it which I know I glue all my puzzles y'all I know I know but I really do love this one and this one I would maybe even frame with this cute little thing I mean one day if I ever have like a huge house and have like just a puzzle room all my puzzles on the tape on the on the walls and then I would have like the cute little inserts like right beside it like it was its placard so yeah that's that's what my dream puzzle room is made of. <laughs> Anywho, very great puzzle so far. I'm a huge fan of it. I think I'm going to get it done pretty quickly because it's actually a really, really easy puzzle and I'm enjoying it as a nice slow puzzle because honestly, someone also had commented in my one of my speed puzzling videos how like you either love speed puzzling or you don't and how they love to take their time with puzzles. I'm definitely on that a train as well. I love to take my time with puzzles and speed puzzling to me is more like a novelty. Like I would love to do it as a competition just because I think it would be an exciting thing to experience, but it's not my go-to type of um, puzzling method, I guess you would say. Anywho, thank you all for joining me today. Um, let me know what your, yeah, let me know your three in the comment, in the 
comments below. If you don't know how to find your own, your, your three, your ascending, your star, and your moon, you probably know what your star is. Your star is based on your birthday, but your moon and your ascending sign, you need to know the location in which you were born, and you need to know the date and time. I mean, obviously the date, but you need to know the time you were born. That's how you're going to find where the moon was and when the sun was rising. That's your ascending. Um, so yeah, thank you all for joining me. I love you all wherever you are in time and space. I hope you have a good one. Like this video before you leave and subscribe to the channel. Much love. Have a good one. Bye.